you're looking to sell your home this summer in Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky, what are the things you should be doing right now to get ready to sell your property? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric Stanio from Keller Williams Realty and TeamStanio.com where we're helping you build a bridge to your future real estate dreams. And it is currently today, the end of May, summer's coming. In fact, today is the last day of school for my oldest son who's in second grade. And so he's pretty excited about that. And uh, now is the time, of course, if you're looking to sell your house, if you haven't been putting it on the market already or, or getting prepped for it, now we're about to launch into the busy summer season. And so um, so maybe you're thinking about selling your house in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, and what are the things you should be doing to get ready to sell your house? So what we're gonna go through right now is four tips for you uh, to kind of plan and prep yourself and get ready if you wanna sell your home, uh, four tips for you to be thinking about. So tip number one, if you're wanting to sell your property this summer, is talk to a realtor. And I know you're probably thinking, well, if I call a realtor right now, I'm not ready to sell yet, he'll want me to list it right away, and that may be true, but you know, more importantly, what you need is a set of professional eyes on the property. So have call a realtor, call multiple realtors if you want. And uh, in fact, we encourage that oftentimes. So you get a feel for the person if you wanna work with them. And what you want to have the realtor do uh, right now is walk through the property, assess it, and also doing a market assessment of your home. So they can bring you comps of other homes that have sold recently. So you can get, to, get an idea of what is the listing range you're gonna be at when you are ready to sell your house. The other thing is you're gonna get their eyeballs on your house. A lot of times when you're walking through your own home, you don't see some of the things that have backed up that might not be great for when it comes time to sell. So you'll get their opinion in terms of walking through the home and some updates that you might wanna make. Any great realtor is gonna to wanna to, you know, work with you. They'll be patient with you. They wanna build relationships because the best realtors are going to um, earn their business by doing a good job for their clients and earning referrals. So even though if you're not ready to sell your house right now, tip number one, we still encourage you, call up a real estate agent, have them come and, and, and have them start getting to work <laughs> to earn your business. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is after you've had the real estate agent walk through the house, is for you to assess the property. So maybe you've only been there a few years, maybe you've been there 50 years, but it's time now that you've gotten someone else's eyes on it to, to think through what are the changes you're actually gonna make? Are you just gonna update some paint? Do you need to take uh, you know wallpaper down that's been up there for 50 years? Do you need to update the curb appeal and the landscaping? Kind of you're, what you're trying to do is get your bearings on what are the things you wanna update in this period of time before you you list it. If there are any serious housing systems that aren't working right now, maybe your, your heater is getting old and broken or your air conditioning or you've got you know uh, uh, leaks in the basement or in the roof, those are the things you want to start addressing now too. Now you've got to weigh that balance and cost, but if you don't address larger items um, that aren't working, those are the things that might slow down the sales process or cause you to get a lower uh, a lower app a lower offer price from a buyer. So make sure you start to assess all those things in the property and decide, okay, what do we wanna tackle before we start to list this property? Okay, the third tip, as you're getting ready to sell your house and now you've, you've had a real estate agent walk through, you've assessed the property yourself. Tip number three is you need to update and fix what makes sense. Now the key to that is fixing what makes sense, right? So that may or may not mean you're gonna update your entire kitchen or a bathroom or, or fix these broken things. You need to decide what's gonna make sense. And when you update these things, you know generally they're gonna help in two areas. One, they're either gonna raise your listing price or what you can actually sell the, the, the home for. And two, it might help you sell the home faster. So those are all the considerations. And again, you wanna talk with your real estate agent about these things and get a feel for, you know, during this time period, it's a good idea as well to come up with a net number of what you want to sell the house. Uh, a lot of agents might tell you different things of what you could sell it for. What, when you're thinking through the updates, because these, you know, if you're gonna make repairs, if you're gonna make updates, you're gonna have to put money up in the front end. Maybe you're gonna um, do new paint, or maybe you're gonna put a new carpet, or whatever it is, that, that all that stuff takes money. So you gotta kind of, weigh the pros and cons and the cost benefits of are you going to get your money in return 
if you do those particular updates or is it going to help you speed up the process to get the house sold so that's tip number three is update and fix what makes sense in the house and tip number four the last uh, step we have for you if you're getting ready to sell your house this summer is start to purge right get all the stuff out that you don't need anymore all the stuff that's accumulated that you have no idea how it got there but it is there and springtime is an early summer these are great times to hold garage sales right get it all out there on the curb put your sign in the yard put it on craigslist or whatever to get you know your house purge of all the junk all the mess all the things you don't want to take with you to your next home that you don't need because you want your house looking clean you want it looking tidy when you do have buyers coming through the house you want them to be able to picture themselves in your home they don't want to see all your mess and all your family photos and all the clothes and everything just kind of stacked all around the house they want to see it nice and clean and tidy it's going to show better it's going to sell for more and it's going to sell faster so step number four is make sure you start the purge now because you got to do that work eventually. You might as well do it now so that uh, the house will be ready when you're ready to list it in a month or two this summer. So that's it, guys. If you are thinking about listing your property in Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky, we'd love for you to give us a call. I hope this video was helpful as you're thinking through how you know all the steps you need to do to get your home sold. If you've watched some of our other videos, you know that right now it's a seller's market for sure in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. There is uh, the average prices are higher and the inventory is lower, which means it is a good time to sell. And if you want to relocate or if you want to you know move to a bigger house or you want to downsize and move to a smaller house. It could be a great time right now for you to get some of that equity out of your home and sell while while the prices are up. Uh, if you want to, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. If not, that's okay too. I hope this video was helpful and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.